Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, dignitaries and distinguished honorees, as Chairman of the Atlantic Council, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Distinguished Leadership Awards. I wish that I could be there with you, but a succession of events, not the least of which has been air transportation, have conspired to keep me from arriving on time. But please do not let my absence lessen the sincerity of my very best wishes to our honorees and the warmest welcome to the Andrew Mellon Auditorium. It was in this very room that President Truman hosted the signing of the North Atlantic Treaty on April 4, 1949, just four short years after the culmination of the Second World War. As the Atlantic community came together at this historic inflection point, it became evident that a clear, coherent, and more effective voice was needed to address the challenges that lie ahead. It was against this backdrop that the Atlantic Council was founded in 1961, bringing together the transatlantic community to navigate times of crisis. Sixty years later, the transatlantic spirit lives on, stronger, certainly more global than ever before. As we gather on the eve of Veterans Day, I want to offer a special salute to our nation's armed forces who have dedicated their lives to this great country so that we may live in freedom, in prosperity, and in the enduring gratitude that we have for the brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice. And on behalf of the entire Atlanta Council community, we thank you. I would like to offer a salute to the previous Atlantic Council chairmen who have come before me, including General James L. Jones, Governor John Huntsman, Secretary Chuck Hagel, and General Brent Scowcroft, whom we lost in August at the age of 95. I deeply appreciate their immense contributions to the Atlantic Council. Despite the challenges caused by the pandemic over the past two years, this evening's honorees have demonstrated their own extraordinary approach to global leadership, which have united communities around the world at a time when it is needed most. And thanks to their vision, the strength of their character, and their commitment to a more secure future, we honor Ursula von der Leyen, the President of the European Commission, Dr. Albert Borla, the Chairman and CEO of Pfizer, Professor Suheen and Dr. Teresi, the co-founders of BioNTech, and Dua Lipa, a Grammy award-winning artist and activist. Congratulations once again. And before I close, I would like to offer my sincere gratitude to the entire Atlanta Council staff, the Board of Directors, and the International Advisory Board for making tonight and so much more possible. I am deeply proud to work with each of you, and thank you, and enjoy the evening.